We all should do this with a heart-filled spirit of joy because we love the Lord, our Savior, who is our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, our light in darkness. My God, that is who you are. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Psalms 23, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. The poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Psalms 34, 6. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. That's us. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Psalms 34, 19. And there are many more scriptures that instructs us to what to do when we are in trouble, yes, yes, when yes. sickness invades our body, yes, when yes. we lose a loved one, when we don't have the money we want in our yes. bank account. Yes. How do we all handle life's yes. distractions? Yes. Well, I'm going to read a couple of verses from you from Jeremiah 33, verses 1 to 3. You do not have to stand. And it reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of prison, saying, Thus said the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Right. Call unto yeah. me, yeah. and I will answer thee, mm -hmm. and show thee great and yeah. mighty things which thou yeah. knowest not. And for just a few minutes, I'm going to talk about calling on the Lord will always allow us to receive great and mighty things. Right. Amen. Jeremiah was a real person who remained true to his calling mm -hmm. and to God. He experienced fear, despair, joy, and praise. He was often called the weeping prophet. As Jeremiah dealt with his conflicting emotions, his distractions, he turned to God to receive <laughs> encouragement. God used Jeremiah to proclaim the word. Mm -hmm. And God wants to do the same thing with us. Man. Jeremiah 33 says, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call unto me is a sign of the great love of God for his prophet, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. He invited Jeremiah to pray and then promised an answer to his prayer beyond Jeremiah's understanding. Proverbs 3, 5 gives us instructions to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Mm -hmm. The Lord gives us that same invitation. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, fruit. and that your fruit should remain, Amen. that whatsoever ye shall ask, Amen. that whatsoever ye shall ask, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. That's John 15, 16. We must first call unto the Lord. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. Matthew 7, 7. As Bishop says, 
even when we feel that life is lifing us, we must always remember God is always guiding us when we call unto him. It's so important for all of us to call unto the Lord when we are going through life's distractions. God reminded Jeremiah to have an ongoing relationship with him. We too must continue to have an ongoing relationship with God, not only when times are bad, but also when times are going good. Why is it so easy to call on the Lord when we are distracted well, and in trouble yeah. and forget to call on him when we're not in trouble or distraction? If we say we love God and trust him with all our heart, then we love God and trust him 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Regardless of distractions or not, we serve a real God who is able to keep us. Now unto him that is able to keep you and me from falling. Jude 1 24. We not only have to trust him, but we have to call on him every day and every night. What I love about our God is that he's never too busy to answer right. our calls. Amen. And God can answer your call and my call all at the same, same time. time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do we really trust God with our heart? Are we really leaning not onto our own understanding? The songwriter says we will understand it better by and by. Are we willing to take a stand like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who would not serve King Nebuchadnezzar's God, but instead they answered him, answered him and said, If it be so, our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, yes, yes. and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, if not. hallelujah, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image. Oh, what love Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had for God. They did not lean unto their own understanding. That's the same love we all need to have for our God. Yeah. Remember Job, who lost everything? And yet he never lost his love for God. Job did not allow distractions to cloud his mind. The Lord said unto Satan, Consider my servant Job. There is none like him in all the earth. Let's stop right there. Can God say that about us? Mm. Are we his servant? Right. We all know the story of Job and all he encountered. Instead, Job trusted God more, yes. even with all the distractions he endured. We too must also trust God Amen. through our many distractions. We can't avoid them, but we can be delivered from them mm -hmm. when we call on the Lord and trust him at his word. Right. But they that wait, yes. hallelujah, mm -hmm. they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall yeah. run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. God wants us to exchange our weakness for his strength yes. in our daily walk of life. We all have this blessed assurance. For God so loved the world that he gave, gave. his only begotten son that whosoever, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Yeah. But have everlasting life. John 3 16. Mm -hmm. Because of God's love, we can call unto Him 
we can pray, and we can trust God and Thanks. his word. So let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Galatians 6, 9. So take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Matthew 6, 34. Remember, God got us. God got us. God loves us. And God is always guiding us. Therefore, we stand on this word. No weapon. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. The promise is the inheritance of God's servant against all adversaries. That even if the weapons are formed, yeah. which they will, yeah. know that the servant of God will be unharmed. Yes, because Thank life you. is so full Thank of you. distractions to make us want to quit. Yes, we all need to guard our hearts and minds yes, with the word of God. Yes, the word of God is the rock mm -hmm. upon which we must stand firm mm -hmm. on it. The song wrote, wrote, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ, yes. my righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Are you leaning on the Lord? When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. Yeah. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground oh, is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. I want you to commit this verse to memory. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Jeremiah 33, 3. Yes, Amen. Amen. And to God be all the glory.